The question is whether C4H10 is an ionic or covalent compound. So C4H10, this is called butane. If we look at the periodic table divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we find carbon right here. So carbon, that's a nonmetal. And then hydrogen all by itself over here with all these metals. Hydrogen's a nonmetal too. So we have two nonmetals. When we have nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. So C4H10 is a covalent compound. Let's take a look at the structure and see what that means. So we have C4H10 here, and we can see these single bonds. Here's a single bond, here's a single bond. Each single bond represents a pair of electrons, and those electrons are shared between the carbon atoms here or between the carbon and the hydrogens. They're shared because covalent bonds, they don't have a big difference in electronegativity, and the electrons are shared between atoms. So C4H10, because it's covalent or molecular, we have these shared electrons between atoms. These are covalent bonds. Here's a representation of the C4H10 to give you a little sense of the molecular geometry. This is Dr. B answering the question whether C4H10 is ionic or covalent. It is covalent. Thanks for watching.